Hey guys, it's the Willinator 1994 here, and today I want to do a PS5 collection. Um, finally, finally, um, uh, you guys have been waiting for it for a, a quite a while now. Um, my PS5 is um, sitting on the left there. It's almost out of shot. Um, had my PS5 since May of last year, so I've got about. 20 physical games here that I want to show you guys they're all on the disc um, some of some of the games I have digitally or for PS Plus won't be um, on on here so um, yeah I just want to do a physical game collection from here on out so so yeah here here is the um, the first game of my collection is probably one of the worst is AEW Fight Forever I haven't played that much to be quite honest Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon this is the launch edition game with the stickers and base game and some concept art I still haven't played that one yet but I'll probably Eventually played in the future. Back for Blood. I believe this came with the deluxe edition. Call of Duty Mono V3. I mean the twenty twenty three version of the twenty eleven original. <laughs> Dead Island 2 with the steel book. Comes with probably extra DLC inside, so I haven't played it play that yet. Dead Space 2023 remake. Oh, my fingers on the shelf, sorry. I just finished this game last night. It's awesome. If you haven't played any of the Dead Space games, definitely recommend it. it. Sucks that we won't get a sequel to the 2023 version of Dead Space. Um, next up is Death Loop, cheapest PS5 game that I have in my collection so far, but I, haven't, I still haven't got around to playing it yet. Gran Turismo 7 Pretty gorgeous game Especially for a racer um, Probably better than the other racing games that have been released on PS5 so far uh, Gotham Knights Deluxe Edition comes with the artwork, the 233 custom bat cycle skin and visionary pack content um so fortunately not a good game to be quite honest with you i'd say batman arkham games is a lot better not much to say about it that one uh the last of us part one the 2022 remake it's the reversible cover but um the normal cover is inside, which I'll show you now. And of course the disc obviously. Yeah, very very good game. Um very good remake. Uh I like playing that game in 60 FPS, so um and of course um you can also play at 30 FPS, but still my favourite game of all time. To be quite honest, NBA Two K Twenty Four, and that's the Kobe Bryant edition. I still, I still haven't popped this one yet. Need for Speed Unbound. I haven't played that yet. Still. Um. What else? 
Resident Evil 8 Village or Resident Evil Village. Finished it um, last weekend. Um, very good game, but it does have um, it's more. Some parts of the game is more action. We play as Chris Redfield later on when he when he use assault his assault rifle and pistol. <laughs> becomes like Call of Duty but um yeah apart from that it's a bit still a good game um the graphics look pretty pretty awesome I'd say unfortunately it doesn't have it does have a VR but um they got put in as free content later on um yeah that's all I can say about it Resident Evil 4, the 2023 remake. It's, it's, an, awesome, it's an awesome game too. Um, I played this twice last year. Oh, sorry about the um, the focus there. So, um, yeah, if, if you haven't played the original or, or if you haven't played any of the Resident Evil games, also, yeah, either um, play any one of the Resident Evil games been out including this one so um I guess my prediction for the next Resident Evil game would be um let's say Resident Evil 1 re remake or Resident Evil 9 um I don't know how many of you Resident Evil fans are out there but let me know if you're excited for them in the future Rollercoaster Tycoon Adventures Deluxe. Played a few hours of it and um, it's quite laggy to be quite honest, um, even though it's a one gigabyte game. <laughs> um, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga comes with Pose X Wing Fighter and the Classic Pack, um, which I'll show you now. Um, oh, hang on, there it is. Um, which is this thing here. <laughs> Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, I played the 2018 version of Spider-Man on the PS4. Um, I haven't played the sequel to the 2018 version of Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, um, it's PS5 exclusive anyway, um, alright, here's the normal cover, uh, Tekken 8 came of, this is the launch edition, um, there's the actual game, the back, um, Comes with a metal plate and a couple of stickers. Just got the platinum trophy for it a couple of weeks ago. It's still, well, there's a loss of focus there. Um, so this this kind of, this came with it the metal plate. Um, not much impressive. Uh, it looks awesome, but nothing at the back. <laughs> um. I'd say Tekken 8 is the best fighting game on the PlayStation 5 so far. Um, although it's been out for about four months at this four months at this point now. So um, overall, um, best probably the best fighting game of 2024, or probably the best overall game of the year. But we'll see how this year goes. But um. So yeah, let's continue, um, WWE 2K22, um, and last but not least, um, EA Sports WRC, um, this is the first, um, WRC game to be owned by EA, but it's early on current gen consoles, so, um, pretty good game, um, 
Codemasters developed this game, um, the guys behind um, the Dirt Rally games and the Dirt series. So if you haven't played any of the w WRC games, um, I suggest play this one. Um, you can build your own rally car, <laughs> which is pretty awesome too. And yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good game. The graphics look awesome. Um, even the vehicles look well detailed and gameplay gameplay is um great actually hang on for a minute guys so there it is my overall ps5 game collection of may of 2024 the metal plate of tekken 8 pose x screen oh. it's a bit the wings are a bit down a bit but show you the games just one more time so yeah um thank you guys for um waiting patiently for my ps5 game collection of may 2024 um thank you guys for watching once again and um thank you for your patience and um yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video and take it easy out there and happy gaming and yeah, peace.